All right, time for a Gwen beginner's guide. The elo of this game is like mid to high silver at this point. So yeah, Gwen is a pretty decent jungler. She has really good clear speed. Her ganks, however, are the main issue. Pre six, her ganks are not that great. So after six, her ganks are reasonable, but still like it's not amazing or anything. So it's the, that's her main problem. Uh, yeah, smite wise, I'm against a bunch of melee champions, so I'm gonna go red smite. You can also go, if you're against more ranged champions, go blue smite to help you with the um, sticking potential towards the enemy as well. That would be really nice in those situations. So if you, like, if they have a lot of ways to kite you or walk away from you, then having the blue smite helps. But if they're melee champs, then red smites is better for just overall better fight potential. So yeah, now I'm gonna start bot side here. I'm just gonna full clear towards top side and um, just like show you how fast Gwen can do it. It's a 315-ish clear speed normally. So as long as you can keep that up, you're fine. Against the Hecarim, he's probably gonna full clear as well. So we're gonna have like some kind of fight towards top scuttle by the end of this. I think I should have double lane priority in both mid and top. So I think I should be okay to win that. And yeah. And Gwen's early game is gonna be mostly farming. You can try to look for some plays here and there. But overall, it's farming, and then after, like, level 6, you can look for more gank pressure, because then you'll have the ult for the extra slow to help you with that. Try to kite the buff camp somewhat to where your laners are walking. In this case, Nolas was, like, face tanking a lot, so... Oh, that's a cheese. They got cheesed. I guess I could, like, help from both sides here. They're gonna walk away, so I just start the camp. Gonna smite the big one, Q the big one as well. My bot lane is gonna lose a lot of that one. Akram started topside for that reason then, that's fine, I guess. Or he got, actually, he probably got a Shaco box leash and they just did that to follow that up. Yeah, I think that's the case. You can Q all the small ones with your uh, Q there on the end. The way you want to do it, just kill all the other ones. And when it comes to this camp, I'll attack all the small ones one time. And then from, oop, I misclicked. And then you Q, I misclicked a lot actually, Jesus. You want to try to auto attack all the small ones one time and then you can finish double queue the camp basically for the finish. Uh, Boltland is having trouble now. That should die to burn. Okay. Yeah, them walking through try there was pretty painful. Again here, auto attack the small ones one time. Make sure to queue. And then you can focus the big one now and the next queue should kill the rest of the small ones for the camp. This basically counts for every single camp on Gwen, so it keeps, just keep that in mind as much as you can. Ooh, he's hunting Hecarim. I don't know if I can make it there in time. Oh boy. Trying my best to move up towards him. Oh, he's gonna get him. That's a good cheese. Holy shit. XD. Alright, I guess I get top scuttle for free. And bot scuttle as well, I, I guess, suppose. Actually... I don't even know if I can go for Bolt Scuttle, because he just killed Hecarim. Hecarim's gonna run out of base towards Bolt Scuttle instantly. He has 12 CS though, actually, so his Raptors are up. I could take those. Mm, I see an opportunity here. Mundo is pushed up in the top lane, so I'm just gonna go for the gank. If you see this opportunity, you should go for it. I'm just gonna ping that my Jack goes in. And I'm gonna, like, try to use my E in a this way to kite with him don't dash towards him at the start yeah i should hold the wave there that's good uh, i'm trying to use my e in a way that i can dash with him to move with him so just start auto attacking try to walk into melee range first before you use any of your dash abilities is what i would recommend after six you have your ult to start out with because then you can start out with that slow and then you can catch up with them and you can keep permanently slowing them basically but pre-six it's just quite important that you use your dash reasonably they're gonna have to be careful on bot lane. I'm pretty sure Hecarim will be there. And I get a really nice back here. The first item I'm gonna go with, I'm just gonna rush Riftmaker. Um, I used to build Nashers a lot first, but after like trying it a bit, Riftmaker is actually the better first item. And this item like right there, I had the gold for it. If you don't have the gold for this straight away, you can also buy the components of it. Like you can buy M Tome and Ruby Crystal. If you have some extra money, you can buy like a Dark Seal. I would recommend like a Dark Seal M Tome back. It's generally pretty standard. If the opportunity does come for that. Yeah, I think the extra kill that I gave the Jax on top lane is probably going to win that really fast.
Thelon is putting a lot of pressure down on the bot side with the rooms. Hecarim walk from top side. There might be a reasonable chance that bot scuttle is still up. That would be crazy. That would be really good for me. Alright, it's down. Okay. Uh, I just gonna have to get through this early game quite slowly. I mean, the top lane is doing really well. Mid lane is doing pretty well as well. He got the Hecarim out like of an early game cheese, which is solid. But I just now have to like hit six, and after six, Gwen starts popping off herself as well. That's basically what I'm waiting on. And Ekram's bot side level four. I have a feeling this talent might just go for that again, for that invade. For me, it's just important that I keep clearing for now until I hit six, and that's the spike you're waiting for with this champion. Like, as you saw, I did like an early game gank that did something, but overall, like, yeah, it's better to just play it slow. And get mid experience here as well. Just gonna get those real quick. Got some mid XP while I can. What the fuck is this guy saying? I'm muting him right away. That shouldn't hit me. Ooh, that might... Nope, we're still good. Nice suit. This is all because I had Leeching Lair, by the way. Like, the extra Omnivamp saved my life heavily there. They did take a dragon, though. That Shaco is putting some pressure down. The uh, Nautilus isn't doing so much to counteract that. Actually, not even sure if I can completely do this one. I have to be quite careful with this. Okay, I'm fine. I have to use Leeching Lair for the like, a little bit of additional sustain. Alright, good. That's six. I'm actually gonna do this and I might look for a bot camp. Or a bot gank, sorry. Top lane is winning though. He's already doing pretty well by himself and then after that one gank I think he was just completely winning because the Mundo lost a lot of lane time with that gank. That's solid. Alright, good. I have the money to buy both Blasting Wand and... Actually, do I have the money for that? I'll sell this for it. I don't need the Health Potion as much and having Dark Seal is really good. So I'm going to get Blasting Wand and Dark Seal here. And this is basically the moment in the game where I can start popping off. This guy doesn't have his red buff currently. So I'm pretty sure his red self. I'm just going to go there straight away to fight him over it. Because he's going to probably kill the Jax here, I would assume. Actually, does he? Nope, he doesn't. He dies. Okay, he still got the shutdown. I don't know why Jax, like, turned around. He, he probably would have gotten him regardless there. So for me right now, I'm just going to do my blue into his topside jungle. Because I know he didn't have his red. So I know it's still up. And I can abuse that real quick. Like, looking at the enemy jungler when they are, look, like, ganking or doing stuff on the map is very important. And dash over. Take his red. I can easily fight him with my ult, as you can see. I gets the run away, though. You're kidding me. I was so... Like, I literally needed one more Q and he would have died. He didn't even do any damage to me there. So close. But I have complete pressure over him now in his topside jungle, so I need to punish this out and take his stuff. After this, I can really opt to go for the uh, Rift Herald, potentially, here to force mid turret down and get a bunch of gold out of that. Like, you, you see mainly, like, the Gwen early game style is just, like, mostly objective focus. My lanes are doing reasonably at the moment, so that's pretty helpful. But even if they aren't, you skill like an absolute monster, so you'll be fine anyway later on. Ooh, that's a shutdown. I got to pick this up, and then from here I'm just gonna push Mithra down because I want the money. I don't care about Mundo, he's 0 and 4. Doesn't matter to me. It's best for me to just take the mid gold here as fast as I can. Oh, 
I use my W to block that. Oh, that's Akram dead. Okay, Akram will from behind. Alright, I have Rhythmaker now. This is the power spike we're waiting on, and at this point we're just gonna uh, steamroll them. That's a good hacker mult from behind there. I really wanted to finish the third for the money, but I just couldn't. I'm up on farm, which is good. The, like at this stage, like Gwen starts becoming an absolute monster. So this is the stage I'm kind of waiting on a little bit in the early game. It's the slight issue with her, unless you of course get like some early kills or get like early like plays that work out really well. You need to scale up to at least like the first item for this to be reasonable. That reaches, I might be able to catch up to him. Yeah, no, never mind. Alright, let's see it. Gwen thinks. Just need my E, and then we Q him, and he's dead. You see how immortal you are, this champion, basically? Like, it's so good. Like, this this champion's absolutely ridiculous when it comes to that. Like, this is the power spike you're kind of waiting on to uh, get through, like, the early game. Of course, if you get, like, a little bit early kills, that's great and all, but in general, like, if you get to this point in the game, you're good. This is where you start popping off more. Should be able to get bot scuttle here, I think. it Actually, it's down. Okay, that's unfortunate. Once I get to, like, my uh, Nasher's Tooth now, I'm just gonna steamroll the enemy team. Like, it's just gonna be a straight, like, run into their face and they're just going to die. We had a pretty good lead in the early game lane-wise, but it's actually kind of turning around now. Well, I guess it's kind of good. You get to see more of the mid to late game Gwen bullshit. Because this champion is completely ridiculous when it comes to that stage of the game. Like, it's actually an insane. Oh. Hello? Is Jax going to move or is that just not gonna be a thing? Alright, Shaco flashed? I did not expect Shaco to have flash, I'm not gonna lie. There's no way she'd get away with this one. Now he's dead, luckily. I need to auto attack something. To get my ult back. I use that to block his last shot. I can I get to dash it one more time I guess. If he's gonna if he's going to fight me now he's gonna die so I don't think he will. If my Jax would have moved there that would have been so easy but Jax uh, apparently doesn't care. You see you also have really good dragon clear speed as you can see. And the fact that Jax just backed as well is kind of scaring me a little bit. I oh, got it. No, you're actually joking. I'm a Jax, mate. He literally... I, I probably shouldn't have done Dragon. I'm gonna admit that right now, but... Still, like, that, he should have probably rotated down there. There's no reason not to do it. I guess the team is basically full AD, so I'm just gonna take Steel Caps here, and then we're gonna go for Nashus. Get the attack speed first. He literally just stuck around mid the entire time whilst the Shaco was in my jungle, and, like, whilst we're trying to fight here... It was just the entire time mid lane. I definitely did. I definitely think Dragon there is not the move I should have done. It was probably way too risky. But yeah. It was really close. Like the Hecarim was able to get an ult Q smite off there. Ik was going to try to assassinate this guy I would assume. Not great. Okay. It's gonna slow the game down a little bit, I guess. I really need to start getting the next dragons, though. I would hope my Jax actually follows for the next one. 
if he like switches places with Talon and he doesn't rotate towards those plays, it's pretty bad. Because I know Talon rotates with the way he's been playing this game. But if Jax doesn't do the same and he switches lanes like that, then I get screwed basically because we lose dragon pressure and everything off that instantly. As you just saw. That's like a low elo type of thing. Like people don't rotate to the objectives for whatever reason. I don't know what reason that is. But yeah, you can get in a problematic situation of that really fast. He is really strong like, damage wise. But that's all it is at the moment. Because his positioning is not great. I'm gonna get some mid XP here. Trying to hit level 11 as soon as I can right now. Mm. Oh, this is actually up. Okay, good. I was assuming it was up. I kind of assumed it was up, but... Look at how much damage I do, by the way. Like, actually. Oh my god. Like, can I get a break here or what? Literally, don't. oh my god, I get three men collapsed. I can't do shit. Mm. Okay. Like, I, I, like, I'm okay with fighting 2v1 still, but a three, four man collapse, whatever that was, is not playable. Like, I kind of need my, like, Nautilus to rotate with me instead of being, like, top lane here with Vayne, because he's actually not accomplishing that much. They're 2v1 in a 0 and 7 Mundo. And the Shaco is putting in a lot of work on the side. And they're all going to die now. This is actually like one of the more problematic early games I've had on this champion so far. And we can still recover from this pretty well, I'd say, but overall, yeah. You'll see the power of Gwen in a bit. Like when they get the Nash's completion and like like from that point onwards, this guy this champion's going to pop off. Just gotta get to that stage at the moment. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. I literally get assassinated everywhere. That's both Hekka and Zed ult used on me. Nautilus did nothing. Yeah. I, I need my team to start rotating for plays. Like, we're, they're, they're playing so solo, which is a complete big issue at the moment, because the enemy team is really good. Like, Hecarim is really strong. I'm having trouble fighting them. My Vayne just took my red buff as well. So, yeah. At the moment, Vayne, like, Vayne taking red is a lot worse than having it on me. She's going to die beforehand, yep. I need this guy to start moving, man. Like, I actually need him to start moving. He's not doing shit. He keeps permanently split pushing lanes and doing absolutely nothing. Okay, please, Gwen, I just need you to pop off a little bit harder. Thank you. My champion's ridiculous, I know. You see the power of this? Like, I don't even have my Nashes completed yet, and I just obliterated him. Like, the sustain from Riftmaker and everything is completely ridiculous. We're getting to the stage where my champion becomes even more bullshit, so that's good. I don't like the final step I currently need is just my uh, my teammates to uh, follow some plays and we're good. Uh, Vayne is taking my entire jungle rotation every time though, that's kind of annoying. It's actually a pretty even game. I'm kind of wondering if this is smurf queue if I'm honest. 
I need armor. I can actually go damage here, I think. I can afford... Like, I have steel cap, so I can afford to probably go death cap into an armor item. I can easily go like a frozen heart, for example, to be super annoying. Or like the healing reduction, like Thornmill would work as well. I think that might be reasonable. I need this Jax to start moving. Like, he can't stay bolt like this. We need him to fight. I actually need him to fight. You have Nautilus ult. Use it, please. Uh, he could have just ulted Shaco there. Shaco would have died. Missed this hook. That's yeah, not great. Ult somebody, please. My dudes. That's not to do... You should have ulted the Shaco, but I guess I'll take it. If he ults Shaco... Like, Mundo was always dead there. Shaco was just another kill he could have picked up with the ult. Also, if he ulted that way, then the uh, ult would have bounced off the Mundo as well. So it would have been a double ult hit. Does he? He does kill, but he does die. Oof, and they lost a bit mid-fight really hard as well. What is this, man? I can fight this Hecarim, I think. I don't think I risk it, though. Because if their team reacts here, I just die. Uh, 1v1, I'm fine against him. But only 1v1, I think, at the moment. Because he's really strong. He doesn't have any magic resist, though, so that's at least something. If he's going to push mid turret here, I'll go for it. That's not going to be possible. I just wasted my ult. Yeah, I just wasted my ult. I really need this Jax to start grouping instead of split pushing. Split pushing is costing us the game because we're actually really like going to win the fight against them in a uh, like team fight at the moment, basically. Uh, this is down. I'm going to go for the Mundo. I think he's worth some gold, so I'll be fine. I think Hecarim back, so I think I can just fight him. Kind of have to fight this. I, know, I guess he got out somehow past the jacks there. It's okay. Oof. Like, I don't understand how we're not grouping. Like, it's actually quite crazy to me right now that they're just all. Can Please. Like, come on. The fact that they keep split pushing is ridiculous right now. Because that's the only reason we're not winning the game at the moment. Is that they're just not grouping. They're just completely split pushing and giving the enemy team a chance to group. Like that's literally our main problem right now. I'm going to die. Please guys. I have to make it clear to them that they have to group because we're not going to win this otherwise. Like, they keep solo dying on the side where in a 5v5 we actually have a reasonably good chance to just win. Because we have really, really strong champions. If we have, like, some setup from the uh, Nautilus, for example, and the Vayne gets to do some free DPS for a while. Like here, for example, she could have killed the Mundo. Uh, we, we would just be winning right now. It would just be that simple. But because they're just splitting on the side, like, Jax is dying here, Vayne and Nautilus are dying there, etc, etc. We're having massive troubles trying to play this game. Okay. Solo death again. Just the consistency of this is ridiculous, basically. He goes up as well. Alright, good. That's a shutdown that's pretty worth. We need this dragon at this point. The smite's gonna be up in 30 seconds. I'm not going to FF this because we can win it for sure, but I just need this team to start grouping. Like, considering how far we we were ahead in the early game and how hard we threw, I guess this is a classic silver game or something, I don't know. 
it's actually difficult to fight it or to play this game at the moment with the way this is going at the, right now how can you stop hitting dragon what is this like insanity i do a lot of damage but jesus i didn't have smite for dragon there so i couldn't finish it off I was spam pinging the fucking assist return. Like, my smite was still on cooldown. There's nothing I could have done. Uh, I guess back pings would have been the better bet. I don't, I don't know what I can do. I'm really trying to make it clear that they shouldn't be fighting that. Because it's complete 50-50. And if we turn first, like, they will just lose. Pain is split pushing bolt as well. I'm really trying to deal with uh, with this ELO gameplay right now. Like, it's actually quite quite insane right now. Like you see how strong Gwen is though in those like fights and those close fights. I just destroy them. Like I do so much damage. This team is pretty heavy. I was not expecting this, especially considering how well they were doing in the early game. But you can see the, the, the effect of not grouping here really clearly. By the way, I'm currently focusing on taking as many of he Hecram's camps as possible to try to put them in a worse position. It's quite crucial that I put him, like, as far behind as I possibly can. Oh. Take as many things from him as I can to keep my, like, lead somewhat equal. He's still ahead of me, because, I mean, yeah. Their team is grouping really well, and we are just simply not. But that's not going to matter in a second, because in a second I'm going to finish my death cap, and I'm just going to become a monster really quick. Uh, their death again on solo. Their solo died again. Okay. Again, I, I, I don't understand. This is quite ridiculous. I need to get some armor here. So get this, and then we're going to build the thorn mill for some healing reduction armor. I guess I might as well get this at the moment, because I have 10 stacks on it. Another solo death situation in mid, though. Please, stop. I, I actually don't understand. this. They just keep doing it. They literally just need to wait for a second and we can win that. I start stacking up some things here. Going with Sweeper first. Uh, we don't have TP either. I'm gonna slow him with my ult as much as I can. I need to because otherwise I would probably die there. My ult cooldown isn't that bad, so I can use it for that purpose. Right there, it's okay. I did. I think I did stop the Baron, so that's at least something. I'm way too strong for them to fight me like this. Like, look how fucking god mode I actually am. They can't kill me. I just do too much damage. They literally cannot kill me. I have too much... Look at my damage output. I do so much damage and I do so much to say they just can't fight me. Jax went back to pushing top lane though, which is nice, of course. I guess this is the type of game I hear about all the time from uh, from people. Like, they, your team literally just doesn't want to do anything. Why ping me, he asks. I see. Alright, get, get Baron here. That's good. How far am I from Thornmill? Ah, uh, that's a lot of gold still. I must hurry if I am to win. They don't necessarily have magic resist because most of my team is AD, so they're actually not building for it, so I don't have to build a Void Staff, if you know what I mean. I actually get to... Uh, oh, we need to get that Mountain Dragon. So I actually get to build more tank items in the process. Like, you have to know that, like, with Riftmaker, Nash's Tooth, like, Death Cap, and even the Magi's in this case, I have plenty plenty of damage so i can easily afford to build an important tank item into the team like important tank items can also include like spirit visits for example would be a play as well if uh, the enemy team had like more magic damage output trying to see if i can get make a catch i right, built him oh boy
That's gonna be a box. I need to make sure that I use my... Don't use my smite, sorry. I need to get this dragon. I zoned out the hacker and he ulted out, so that's pretty good. I don't like this dragon start at all. Focus Hecarim, I have a lot of true damage right there. Good, focus this. Good. Where's the Shaco? Dice, that's perfect. We did lose a lot on the mid lane though, but I guess that's fine. Actually, we didn't lose that much. I think that's overall still worth it. You see how I'm destroying the Hecarim with damage, by the way, in these fights? Like, he is getting obliterated. I know that Red is up and his topside camps are up, so I'm just gonna take those real quick. Try to punish as much as possible. The moment I finish my Thor mill here, I'm basically gonna be unkillable. This is the moment I'm looking for. Ooh, I see a Mundo that I can kill. Go on, buddy. Come on. Look at that damage, man. I literally just one-shot him with a Q. That Q just obliterated his health bar. Late game carry potential. Is real. And I got Thornmill here. I got the armor. Actually, yeah, no, I'll get the armor. And then we'll get the AP potion. I have a lot of AP right now. I currently have a lot of gold left. I can switch my boots here for, like, Deadman's Blade, potentially. And um, that's an option I have. I have 240 CS, which is good. I'm not honestly just going to take this still. I really don't care. Even though I have red buff, like, she is 5 and 10, and I just need to win this game. Like, I just need to be the, uh, the Gwen. The Gwen Gwen. Have the red buff for as long as possible because it's very important to, uh, to this champion. I'm just gonna look for any fight at all, to be honest. And he's basically lost his life. That's a good trade, Zed ulted. I can just get to do one camp and I'm good. Okay, we're good. Gwen is a retardedly strong. You saw, like, they engaged on me there. Four man basically hitting me, and they just, they couldn't do it. They literally couldn't kill me. Mm, Shake was pushing mid. We don't have a wave. We don't have a TP either. Okay, good. He's dead. This is why you want red buff on this champion, by the way. You see the chase potential with it. Okay, I like it. I'm going for you. Perfect. We'll look at the damage after this game as well. This is actually a pretty intense game. I'm not gonna lie. Worked out for the better. Yeah, weaker early game, but as you can see, mid to late game when you get there. Whew gonna hit turret like you do it really fast with your e up as well as you can see if they're gonna go for me i wish them the best of luck to be honest now we shouldn't extend our situation here we don't have nautilus ult at the moment so i'm a little bit afraid of that one finishing the inhib there isn't great but my team wasn't gonna go for it anyway so i might as well follow it up all right, I'm going to sell my boots here. I have enough armor in Thornmill. I'm just going to decide to sell my boots here for Cosmic Drive. It's going to give me the additional move speed out of it, which is going to be very nice. To, that basically keeps up the move speed that you lose uh, for the selling the boots, so this will be fine. It's also going to give me way more like ability haste, and I have enough armor in Thornmill here, so I'm still fine with this. I'll be strong enough this way anyway. I'll be a little bit, like, a little bit slower in general, but it's still, like, reasonable enough. Gotta finish, like, the dragon at the end here. Like, basically, late game rotations when you're doing this. It's gonna be, like, look for the objectives to still take what is on the map. Um, yeah. Look for pressure, look for picks and the side lanes, as many as you can get. If the enemy team walks out of position, you just punish that really fast. The problem here is if we do... Uh, we, we should be able to rush Baron. 
But we have like a dragon coming up in 30 seconds. So we're basically trading mountain soul for dragon and or for baron. I'm not sure if I if that's gonna be good if we're not doing this fast enough. Oh, we have enough damage output. That's fine. We just have to get the dragon fast now. That's a good that's a good ult. That's gonna be a dead shaker. Come on! Alright, as soon as you hit something, by the way, that's when you can ult again. So, uh, you saw me hitting the box there with the auto attack in between that rotation to make sure that I can ult the Shaco again and again. Hit the minion, hit the box, hit whatever you can. As long as you get an auto attack off, your ult will be re reusable. It's an FF vote, I see. Alright. 200, like, uh, right now, you can, like, I'm basically powering up through this game course like ideally you want your early game to go a little bit more smoothly than it on, in my case but that's yeah, small detail take his red buff here because it's gonna be up we're just gonna wait for anyone to walk into me somewhere and then we should be fine like anyone that face checks me just insta dies at this point it doesn't really matter who it is I'm not gonna face che check a heck room if my Nautilus would have just walked up there or just hooked him, I would have gone for it. But because he didn't throw a hook or anything, I'm just not going to go for that. Focus third, as you can see, I just chomped that down really quickly. You have ult ready, buddy. Like, you can use it if you want. Okay. Just got to focus the Hecarim here. And I obliterated him. And I obliterated this guy as well. Oh my god, my damage is ridiculous, man. This is so insane. Look at that damage, bud. Like, I, like the Hecarim right there. One Q just one shot the Hecarim completely. You're not even memeing. As you can, you can clearly see that I don't need, like, like I can easily afford to go for a tank item with this build. Like, if you're going for maximum sustain potential, getting a, like, being able to get a tank item is going to be very valuable. I'm still chomping turrets here as well, as you can see. Like, one E just kills turrets. But yeah, that's actually a pretty, like, good showcase of Gwen. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, let's just add this on the end for the end game stats. You can see right here, 22.7k gold, nearly 300 CS, which is significantly more than anybody else if you look at the damage graph i have 50 56,000 damage done which is considerably higher than anybody else on my team like talent comes somewhat close but it's still like 13 or 14k behind and yeah uh healing done we can check that as well 31.5k healing done and then we take damage taken 53.7k damage taken like i basically topped every single chart that's relevant to fighting people ever and objective damage is also ridiculous so yeah i would highly recommend the champion the early game is the main problem of course as you saw like you have a kind of kind of a slow start if you can get lucky and get a couple of kills you can get the snowball going a little bit faster and that would work better for you but overall that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video bye